this is probably one of the toughest immigration screening or border um, control screening that I've heard of. I thought I will bring the experience to you. Hopefully somebody can learn from this. So there is a woman seated right here who um, has an experience to share. Let's go straight into it. Hello, madam. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to you. Welcome to Canada. Thank you so much. Thank you. Which continent are you from or which uh, part of the continent are you from? Africa, Nigeria. From Nigeria. Good. How is Nigeria doing? How is Nigeria? Nigeria is fine with our plenty Wahala. There's Wahala everywhere though. Wahala everywhere. Mm, I mean, there's Wahala here too in Canada. <laughs> Everything's okay in Nigeria. Eh? Yes. Good, yes. good. Everybody doing okay? Everybody's fine. Nice, nice, nice. Welcome to Canada. Thank so you. what kind of visa um did you come here with? I came here with a tourist visa. A tourist visa, basically a visitor's visa. Yes, sir. Okay. Is it your first time here in Canada? Yes, it is. All right. So and uh, so if you come you're coming to tour Canada? Yes, I'm coming as a tourist. Tourist. So yeah. what are your plans? What are some of the things you plan on doing? I plan to visit this. I want to do this um, Niagara Falls tours. Mm -hmm. Then go to is it Habo Island to do mm -hmm. popping and off of bus. Okay. Some gallery museums and all that. Then okay. Shopping basically. A bit of shopping too. Okay. All right. And uh, you are in Niagara, so hopefully you can enjoy this this yeah. this region, eh? Niagara Falls and a few other places. All right. Yeah. Now your let, let's talk about your experience at the um at the at the border at the airport when you arrived you said it wasn't an easy one for you mm. was it take us through when you got out of the plane and you went to the screening before the officers called you how was it for you how was it it was because you have to self-check yourself and stuff like that how i was will it? say it was your vi your video that helped when i got to the self-check you know the first place where you put your passport i don't know if it was with um the nigerian passport but the barcode was not entry i did the first time did the second time did the third time and two other nigerians there too their barcodes were not entering it was showing error so we had to call the attention of a lady there so she took us to another of the machines to um self-check uh passports mm. and she later went through but at that point i i was of course scared what's going on you're scared that things were not <laughs> working like it wasn't picking your passport when yeah you it wasn't picking my passport it wasn't even the visa it was particularly the passport the particular. data. It wasn't okay picking. and it wasn't just you the other nigerians yes two too. other yeah. nigerians i noticed okay all right and um how long was your uh migration questioning or interrogation <laughs> it was up to one hour as I came in, after that self-check, I got to the first immigration person. Mm -hmm. He asked why I was here. I told him I came in for tourism, sightseeing, mm -hmm. and also for shopping. He just looked at me and said, Nigerians don't come in for vacation. Nigerians don't go vacation. They don't take vacations. So he said I should step aside. I did. The next person came. He saw that she, she, um, the girl was in Nigeria too. So I just noticed they were just telling almost all the blacks. I don't want to say it's black, but mostly Nigerians to step aside, mm. which we did. Then they took us to the next um, line, the next queue for the um, immigration. By the time I got to the next guy, he said, why am I here? I told him the same story. And he said, why did I not go to China? Why um, Canada? I said, I chose to come to Canada. He still wasn't satisfied. He sent me to the third person. And that was where they were like three people asking me questions at the same time. I was I here. Three I different them, officers asking yes, questions at the same yes. time. Okay. Three different officers asking questions at the same time. Two of them will talk to the one attending to me. They will speak, I believe it's French. Then he will then ask me the question. Mm. He said, why was I here? I told him. He said, um, how much do I have? I told him. In terms of like uh, money cash, on you, cash on cash you? Cash okay. I told him. Mm -hmm. He said, how much do I have in my account? I told him. At that point, he took my phone. He took your phone from he you? He took my phone. Okay. And said, I should open my bank app. 
my bank application. When I tried, it wasn't open, so he the, at that point he just told me to go to the Wi Fi mm -hmm. and he connected it directly to the, the Wi Fi. Wi -Fi. Wi -Fi. Okay. So he opened, then he checked and he saw the balance. Mm -hmm. And he still wasn't satisfied, and he said I should download six months of my account statements. He wants you to download six months of your bank statements, bank statements. on your mobile app. Yes, okay. I should, he wants to see the e statements, which I did. Then, when he checked, he saw that two days ago some money came in, and he asked me where did that money come from. I said it was my partner, where I, I'm a business person. So he kept checking. And he wasn't satisfied. Then he asked me. He just went. I believe what he was checking was the form I filled. Mm, the the visa form that you filled that and I submitted. Filled you believe that's what? Yes. He had pulled on his yes. computer and was checking. Yes. Okay. Because he asked me my children's names, mm -hmm. both names. I told him. He asked me how old they are. I told him. He asked me my spouse's name. I told him. He asked me the name of my company. I told him. He asked me what the company is into. I told him. He said, I was given visa since last year, August. So why did I not come in? I said, because I'm a business person at the time. I was following up on some payments of mine. So that did not come at the time. So that was why I couldn't come at that time. So he said, oh, so I should open my company's email. Now he wants to see the correspondence. I did. Then he scrolled and said, he's not seeing my name on the emails. And I said, you should go down because it's a long one. He checked. So at this stage, he was going through your email? He was with my phone. He was your going phone. through my phone. Okay. Then he checked. He said, so you said you're here for two weeks. I said, yes, 14 days. I'll be leaving on the 8th. Then he said... Um, you said you're here for two weeks, 14, yes, I 14 said days. Okay. Two weeks, yes, 14 days. So I told him the date I'll be leaving. Then at that point, he said two weeks. What if I stay? I said I'm not staying because so I have... what if you do what? What if I stay beyond the beyond two weeks? Beyond the two weeks, okay. I said I'm not staying. That I have a bid I just submitted. I need to do a follow-up on it because I'm hoping to get the job. He requested to see that particular bid, the correspondence. Oh, okay. So you mentioned that you have a bid you put in back in nigeria for a business contract yes, or something yes. and you're hoping to win it or get it yes. so you want to go back and then follow up and then he now said he wants to see Seats. that bid yes oh, it looks like you were creating more questions for yourself <laughs> then i showed it to him i was trying to just use one stone to kill two birds okay so i showed it to him but then he asked me do i know anybody in canada i said no Mm. He said, how come I don't know anybody in Canada? I said, I don't know anyone in Canada. Mm. Then he he said, why did you not go to China? Why Canada? I said, because that's where I chose to. Then he asked me, I don't know what he checked and said, you were in, in the US um, in 2014. What did you go there for? I told him, he said, how long were you there? I told him, he asked me where I stayed in the US. I told him. Then... He checked again and said in 2016 I was in the US. I told him I was there for 19 days. What did I go for? I just told him vacation. Then he looked at me. He kept checking the phone as we were talking. He was still, you were still going through your going phone. Going through my phone. Mm -hmm. were, then, you, were you worried at that point that <laughs> I wasn't because because of your videos, I had removed, I uninstalled my WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Then other emails too, I removed mm -hmm. them from my phone. So I knew there was nothing implicating mm. that he could see. So he checked and checked and checked. He didn't see anything. At some point, he just said, you are this limit, this limit, this limit. He, he said you are where? At this limit, this tiny limit. <laughs> that he, he hopes I don't stay here for more than two weeks because if I do, when I will be coming back, they will not let me in. Mm. And I smiled and said, so then, then he stamps me in. But they grilled me for like, one hour the guy was just asking me questions that i didn't even expect and something else i booked a hotel like you advised i had to i had that booking on me he checked it and saw it then i also booked because i said i'm coming for sightseeing i also booked some tours too he checked those ones mm -hmm. and saw that i'd already paid for them so i think those things helps too mm -hmm.
You said they also asked you questions. Did they ask you questions about picking up, how you're getting up? Yes, 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 from yes. The yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. He said, so who's picking me up? I said, a shuttle from the hotel. I said, yeah, it was the airport, um, airport shuttle from the hotel. Mm. So. Did he ask you any questions then about? Then he asked yeah, how okay. many bags I came in with. I said, he asked one. you how many bags or luggage yes, you came luggage with. Yes, okay. luggage. I said one. Mm. Yeah. So okay. imagine if I come with two, three bags. Uh, really maybe they would have... I didn't know it was That's going it. to be like that. I thought it's mm. just normal, few questions, and you go. Some people are lucky; they don't get a lot of questions. But it looks like you got a lot, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did. I didn't plan for that kind of questioning. I didn't know it was going to get to that point. Mm -hmm. I was just now, lucky. when when you said you're coming here as a tourist to also do this and that and that and shopping, did it? question why shopping here um yes he said, said uh, nigerians don't <laughs> yes he said nigerians don't go for vacation that from nigeria all the way from nigeria will come to canada to shop i said yes was at that point i said yes in 2016 i, I went to us i went to the us for 19 days just for vacation and shopping mm. so i think that's all i want to help mm. out to be helped i see um and you you had booked your return ticket too for he checked my return you ticket. check your return ticket he asked for it and he saw it mm -hmm. so the return he asked you any question about how you're going to get out of the airport uh, to your destination yes. and your residence where yes. you're going to stay yes i told him and he asked me why i booked for just five days i told him because i'm here for sightseeing i don't plan i of course i don't want to stay at the place that I don't know, I don't want to go to Niagara Falls, so from there, I also want to go to a long pink park, so I don't know how it's going to look like, so that's why I booked for five days. So that days. you can, when you move, then you book another hotel. Then he asked me why I was booking on hold. Why did I not pay? That the so booking I said, that you made was on hold, but yes, it wasn't paid for, okay. Yes. So I said it was the um, hotel's um, policy okay. to pay at the property, mm -hmm. not so from me. But the money has been um, the money the money they charged was already in the card. So that was what I wow. wow, wow, wow. Um, about one hour of screening through three different stages of immigration yes. questioning. Did you at any point get scared, like things the way things were going? <laughs> because the officer told you that you were you were this close <laughs> to being. Of course, at some point, <laughs> but. It was at the first and the second point I was scared, but at the third point I wasn't that scared because then I was then a bit relaxed. That's okay, you know. At the first place I was nervous. The second place, yes. But by the time I got to the third point, I was already prepared in my heart to say, okay, I have to calm down to answer these people. Mm. So. Wow. Hey viewers, I hope you've uh, had a lot and you're also preparing yourself for this. If you're on a visitor visa, especially if you're coming for tourists, for conferences and stuff, I hope some of these videos uh, share people's experiences so that you prepare yourself. Um, she said a lot. She said a lot in there. Uh, a quick message. Afrias is a money transfer app you can use to send money from um, North America, Canada, US to Africa and a few other countries out there. You can also send money from Europe to Africa. Uh, all you need to do is to download the Afrias app uh, in the Play Store or in your App Store. Download, type the name Afrias in your App Store and then download it. Now, there is an option on the app that will ask you for promo code. If you simply type my name, Choco, C-H-O-R-K-O-R, -O -R, you will get $15, a one-time amount of $15 if you send it, the first transaction, a transaction of $50, US you get $15 back. If you also share the Afrias app, with your friends there is a referral link there is a referral link in the app when you download it which will allow you to share with your friends if you send with your if you share the link with your friends and they also download and send money you get twenty dollars when they also send uh, money using afria so please check this out afrias gives you the best of rate in town and delivers your money quick and fast so madam um i want you to with all of you, 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 at some point you may have come across my videos and then my videos may have also helped you put things in perspective. How important was it to you? Do you think without watching the videos, like... I would have messed up, big time. 
you would have messed up big time big time there was a particular video you did you talked about people going through their forms be very informed about what they feel what they feel when they were feeling mm -hmm. they should know what is in there that was what helps because i had to do a total review of what was inside there and i noticed at some point the guy was asking me questions based on what if the information i gave to them when i was filling the form the visa form okay. yes the visa form most of the questions when he was asking me how many children i have how old they are my spouse's name mm -hmm. my children i believe it was from the form mm, he so pulled the, me i pulled it and was yes, asking questions yes. about it okay. so your video really mm. really in fact i basically i prepared with everything you said mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I you probably want to so check nice. out that video, Questions to Expert, if you are coming in as a visitor. I have that video on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're also coming in as a student, I have a video on that, Questions to Expert as a student. Hopefully that helps you. You may not go through the same set of questions. Some people get it easy, some people don't. Uh, but you never know. It's better to be prepared or over. Yeah. Like you said something, it's better to be... Over prepared mm. than not to be. Mm -hmm. Because you can just be taken down and waste. Like um, on installing my WhatsApp, I don't know, I just thought of it. I said most of my discussions with people are there and if they go there they must see something so i had to uninstall the whatsapp totally mm, you can prepare <laughs> I, I uninstalled the whatsapp i did a backup of my whatsapp then uninstalled it from my phone. <laughs> then also my emails i checked anyone i think they will see something that will make them happy i removed it now omo you take the clean things you clean things with omo that's so clean <laughs> Maybe by now, I've been at the airport waiting to be sent back. <laughs> oh, but anyway, w w welcome, welcome, welcome. So I must to... say thank mm -hmm. you to you. People mm -hmm. should take your video seriously. Mm. Thank you, real big thank you to you. Mm. It, 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 you were just my inspiration. Mm -hmm. You know, I spoke with you even before I came. I asked you some questions and we talked. So that also prepared me for that to say, ah, this I have just one bullet, so I must aim to shoot right. <laughs> Since <laughs> naked in bed, I decided to fly with that Petri. Yes, so the other time, I also decided to shoot with that Petri. The guy asked me, how many luggages, how many bags do you have on I said, one. Uh, so as we are coming, if there were even people that you know in Canada who are giving you things to bring I mean, and you, buy them, uh, no, 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 will no, you bring no. them? For what? <laughs> people are saying, please, now come with crayfish, come with dry fish. I said, I'm not carrying anything. <laughs> I'm not carrying anything. <laughs> Before it opens you up for more questioning, yeah? Yes. Because the kind of grilling you went through, actually there, is, there are aspects of this thing that we haven't even talked about there. Yeah? Like she was really, really great. Um, the way she was grilled, yeah? If the average person who is not prepared goes through this, you probably wouldn't survive it. Because imagine well. they had to check your business contracts. Yes. At the point, they, 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 they even had to check your correspondence with your partners yes. or your they business. They said I should open. I said I have the company, I should open, they want to see the correspondence. The last bid I said I did, I will want, because of that, I'll be going back. They checked and they saw it. So imagine there was, if there was nothing like that. Mm. You on your own, no? Mm. That's why the officer told you, he says, he says, your last this small. He said you, you, let, you say you were just at this limit. You were going to say you. <laughs> but they realized that all the questions they were asking you, you were, you were on top of them. Don't be so. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. If anybody use an agent to get their or fill their visa or submit and get their visa and they are not aware of the information on it you i I'd like you mm -hmm. to just give them a quick advice before we wrap up uh, uh. they should do bother coming that's the, <laughs> that's what i'll say if you don't know what's on your form then <laughs> you're already screwed because you're supposed to know what's on your form ask the person be sure keep it is not too much. Ask him. I even had to ask the hotel the boy used when we we're filling the hotel we used to be sure I've not forgotten to have it at the back of my mind. So if they ask me, I'll tell them because they might come up with a question that okay, why did you use that hotel? Why are you using a different one now? I had a, I had an answer in my head for it. Mm -hmm. So three days ago, somebody called me and said, "Choco, Choco." The person called me three times. I said, "What is this, Choco?" I watched this your video and you kept talking about you must know what is on your phone. So I went back and I insisted on getting whatever information the agent put because I provided the agent with my information. He said, Choco, when the agent finally gave me the form, Choco, he called me three times. You understand now? He said what he saw there. He was surprised. He was surprised about what he saw. 
Because if they were, he was asked questions about that, they probably they, you know everything that they talk, huh? You understand, huh? Hope this video helps you. There, uh, share it with your friends, post it in your WhatsApp group. Somebody will learn from it. And many of you are coming in as visitors visa because we are entering the season of summer. Summer is just about a month or so away from now. So a lot more people are gonna come in as visitors. And many of you, your event or your conferences or the purpose for which you said you're coming may have already passed and you're still coming in. I hope videos like this can prepare you for you to be ready. Now, this is not to scare you. The fact that she went through this uh, screening does not mean that yours will be the same. Yours could be easier. Yours could even be more difficult or maybe moderate. But it is better to be prepared than not to be prepared. There are many people who come in and they have no clue what to expect and they get stuck. You understand? I hope you don't go through that. Share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and uh, drop your comments and subscribe as well. You have something you want to say? Mm. Nothing to Nothing. say? So now that you are here for 14 days, by the time we started talking and we are done, it's left with 13 days and 7 hours. <laughs> <laughs> we have to start preparing yes, you to start no. going back to Nigeria. Don't be yes, so. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right. To go back. Yeah. Hopefully she enjoys a time in Canada and then her, uh, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you see her in Niagara Falls or wherever, just know she's here to shop. <laughs> Nigerians, they shop too in Canada. All the best to see you on the other side. Peace, my love. Take care.